Okay, so this is how we get started with XM Rig in Azure. So the first thing you want to do is start the VM. And I'm doing that with the Azure VM command within the console using the cloud shell. So you just supply the resource group name, the name of the machine, and the name of the subscription in your account. And they give you a nice little copy paste that you can use there in the right hand corner when you click on the CLI slash PS in the console. So we can take a look at the machine metrics, specifically CPU, and you can see that I've run this already before because my CPU hit 100% there in that leftmost chart. And it's currently, the most recent data point also shows 100%, all cores, eight cores at 100% when I tested out XM Rig on this machine. So now that the machine is started, you should list the IP addresses to make sure you know which IP address to use to connect to it. So when we run that command, we can see the IP address. Then we'll go over, we'll go over to the terminal and use that to connect. So we SSH in, we become root, and then we CD to the XM rig directory, and then we run XM rig with a dot slash. So this is the Linux tar gz file that I got from GitHub. If we open up another terminal, we can run htop to see how the cores are performing. And we can see all eight cores at the top are 100% utilized, and we can see those processes at the top. If we filter down XM rig, each core is at 100%, the cumulative, that top line is about 800%, which makes sense for eight cores. Those four processes at the bottom are left over from when I terminated the machine or actually deallocated it, and the processes were still running. So we can run this for a while and see what our speeds are. Each core is getting just under 400 hash per second. So combined, that's about 3.2K hash per second. If we go back to the terminal, or the console rather, and we're done, we want to make sure that we deallocate the instance. Don't just stop the instance. If you do an AZVM stop, you're still paying for the instance per hour. But if you do an AZVM deallocate, you are not paying for the instance per hour. So make sure that you deallocate the instance. That won't terminate the instance, that won't remove it. It just makes it so that you are not getting billed per hour for the instance. So if we go to the virtual machines document given by Azure, we can see that the particular machine I'm running, which is an FSV2 standard V8, sorry, standard uh, eight core, it's a uh, third generation Intel, and it provides for what's called AVX 512F, which is Argon 2 implementation. So that's really important because that does help the process. Um, these are fast processors and um, eight cores, 16 gigs of RAM, which of course you don't need the 16 gigs for XM rig, but it was the lowest combination of, or it was the highest virtual core count and lowest memory count that I could find in this particular region for Azure. So once we deallocate the machine, we can refresh the console and see that it has stopped deallocated, which means we're not getting billed per hour anymore. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.